Emily, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So I did a previous video on why she chose the unattractive guy. Today we are going to do the sister video to that, why he chose the unattractive girl. Stay tuned. Alright family, so why did he choose the unattractive girl? I have three reasons why he chose the unattractive girl. The very first one is because he gets to be himself around her. Really, it's that simple. He gets to be the real him around her. He is able to take off the mask that he wears in front of the entire world with her. Number two, there is just about no judgment when it comes to him and how maybe he shared a story with her and his character really wasn't the best in this particular story. She's not judging him. She's actually saying, you know what? You messed up that time. Uh, you can forgive yourself, apologize, whatever, apologize to the person, but move on from that. So there really is no judgment in his character when it comes to some of the things that he know he really should not be doing, but he did do it and maybe it caught up to him. Maybe he's just feeling bad, whatever. He shared the story with his friend who happens to be an unattractive girl who he can be himself with and let down his guard and take off his mask with. And all of a sudden he's like, yeah, yeah, because you have to remember. We don't want to be judged by anybody. It doesn't matter what crazy stuff that we do as human beings. We still don't want to be judged by others. We would rather it stay in the dark. But usually the things that we do in the dark, they come to light anyway. But when it does uh, come to light, we really want that person to be in our corner no matter what. And so she's showing that type of quality. Like, okay, I know I probably shouldn't have been doing X, Y, and Z, but... There was no judgment. Like, she really, really wants the best for me. She really wants to see me happy. And so he's moving that much closer to her. <laughs> the third and final reason is that there is no pressure to impress this girl. He can go over there in his jogging pants and do nothing with her. They can sit down and watch a movie or drink wine, play games, whatever it is. There's no pressure with her. He don't ever have to take her out. Now again, I know that they're not dating or anything. However, he don't have to worry about, okay, if I don't have the money as the man to take the girl out, I can just go and chill. There is no pressure here. You know, they, that they are just friends. They're just hanging out. There is no pressure to say, what are we doing? Right? There's no pressure to try to have the talk. There is no pressure for sex even. There's just no pressure. There are his worries. He's able to lay down his worries when he goes over there with her and around her. Now, I do have a story about one of the guys that I was talking to. We actually never dated, but I was talking to before. And I, I think I told the story before, but maybe I just didn't tell this portion of it anyway. So, um, basically, he was dating this girl. And uh, in the beginning, they weren't dating. Let me back up. In the beginning, they were not dating. They were just friends. And he was a he was able to let down his guard with her and just be friends with her and laugh and joke. And, you know, he would go and hang out with this girl all the time. Well, he actually told me that she was not his type at all, right? Because we all have these types that we think we're going to end up with. And that's a different story because we usually don't end up with our type anyway. So he was with this girl. And finally... He had been around, been around her so much and was very comfortable with her and sharing stories and just laughing and joking. And, and just being around her made him be able to relax and just enjoy the company, enjoy the ride, per se. And uh, he ended up falling for the girl, right? So he ended up falling for her and uh, the relationship wasn't all that great. But basically, he said that she was kind of homely looking. And side note, have you noticed... <laughs> The fine person, doesn't matter, girl or guy, the fine person will get with a homely looking type of person and then you kind of scratching your head like, I mean, you fly. <laughs> you, I mean, you fly. This who you chose? I'm telling you, this is one of the reasons why he or she chose the unattractive person. That unattractive person was able to slide on in there and not that they were even trying to do it on purpose. Most of the time, you're not even trying to do it on purpose because, truth be told, the unattractive person don't even think that person is on their level. they just trying to be cool. they just trying to be friends. they just trying to enjoy and be around some people, you know, that have the same type of energy. So they just being themselves. And before you know it, 
because we all want to fall for that real person. Anyway, let me get back to the story. Let me just say that their relationship did not last long, but I will say it took him a long time. I'm talking about a few years to get over this one particular girl. It took him a long time. And actually, this was the guy I was telling you about as far as him not being emotionally ready. Yeah, this was him. He used to talk about this girl for a long, I'm talking about a long time. He literally, I want to say, like, is it even close to a decade? Yeah, I think it's even, I mean, seriously, like, when I say that this girl broke him, she broke him. He didn't even start dating until last year. And it was almost a decade since he had dealt with this girl. So I'm sure that he shut down and he was punishing all of the other girls that came after her, me included, right? Because we didn't make it. Um, but anywho, yeah, she, she broke she broke old boy down. And uh, he did confess that she wasn't the, the cutest person. <laughs> and he did say she was a bit homely. But he, he loved her. And he was, he was broken when that relationship ended. So point is absolutely fine brother or whatever will choose an unattractive girl is this a hundred percent of course not but sometimes when you see this occurring okay so keep these things in mind there was no pressure he was able to be himself around her and she did not judge him and his character keep those things in mind the next time you see that fine guy out there with the homely looking girl she won him over and now she could just be her right she could just be her and he could just be him. He happened to be what society say is fine and she happens to be what society say is unattractive. All right, family. So I hope that these tips have helped you guys out. Men, let me know. Did I hit it on the head today? Is there something else that I missed? Definitely put it down in the comment section below because you guys know that I love reading your comments. Let's go ahead and engage. Now, if you are not following me on my social media, I am going to be vlogging every day really soon, but I will not be taking questions on my YouTube page. I want you to follow me on my social media. All of that is in the description box below. And then, of course, when it is time, I will let you guys know that it's time and then you can send me the questions on my social media. I'm more active on Instagram and uh, Twitter and my Facebook fan page. Those are the three where I'm super active on. I'm on Snapchat, but I'm just not super active on Snapchat. Anywho, I will see you guys in a future video. Deuces!